Hello and welcome back to the farm. I meet you in between November and December moving over to December because there was nothing really we could do in November. So here we are. It is now... Okay, I was going to say winter, but we still do have some leaves on the tree. So yeah, there we go. Now I have quite a few things that I want to check out today. Firstly, of course, we should check out the used machinery to see if we got anything interesting, but it does not look like it. We don't really need any of this stuff. I do, however, I do, however, want to check out something in construction. A few things, actually, because I, at an earlier episode, I talked about potentially putting in some trees and maybe a hedge here, which I th really think would look cool. But I'm afraid it's going to be expensive. So, a hedge. So this is a medium-sized hedge. That's $150. I would obviously want proper space for something, like my machinery. So if I were to put... Okay, that's gonna... Well, let's see. 13000 for a hedge. It doesn't sound bad. But it's bad in the terms of us not having that much money. Yeah, that would be half of... Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Don't think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, What do we have in terms of trees? Like, how much would it be to get... Something like this in? Maybe a small American elm. Okay, that's actually not too bad. But it does, it does seem a bit wide. Hmm... Maybe something like this would be more fitting. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I'll get back to it though, because, uh, well, money. Speaking of money, I do believe that it is that time of year to be selling barley and oats, I think. One of the two. Yep, definitely. So the top price for barley is 662. We can get, well, that's for the train anyway. Yeah, we can get a little bit higher, and the oats, 1,149. Yeah, we can, we can, we we have some pretty good prices right here. My question is just, I don't think, well, that's not really a question. I just don't think I want to sell all of it because I want animals, specifically chickens and sheep. Now, sheep has been suggested to me because they are relatively low. Uh, low cost in when it comes to uh, food and stuff and maintenance. Maintenance, basically. They only need grass or hay and then water if we were to get the pasture. If we get the barn, that is obviously a lot bigger and also a lot more capacity, but also quite a bit more expensive, whereas the sheep pasture, we can actually afford it. Um, so yeah, we, we would be able to deal with this fairly easily. And the chickens, well, they they generate eggs, but the chicken coop is extremely expensive for us. So we gotta start somewhere. And right, the chickens need either uh, barley or wheat or sorghum. They do not, they cannot take oats. So if I were to get chickens, I would probably want it to be here. Hmm. And if I were to get sheep, that could then fit here. I do want to get the ship, the the sheep barn, which then makes it so we don't require to give it water. It's basically filling itself. But uh, yeah, that's a bit too much money for us because we still want more fields and stuff like that. Hmm. I have decided that to begin with, we are going to sell all of our oats, and that is why I have increased the time. Uh, yeah, we do not need the weeder. Where is... Ah, the trailer's right there. Yeah, we're going to start off with the oats because the chickens won't be able to have those anyway. So if we start with that, then we can decide from there. I think we are going to get chickens today because I really want some sort of <laughs> animal on the farm here. I've been wanting that for a while, and I think we're at a pretty good point where we can do so without us getting into an issue with our economy. We already have 11,000 uh, liters of barley, so we wouldn't need to buy feed for quite a while, and they don't consume that much. So we should be good. So let's get all of our oats offloaded. 
There we go. And let us take a look then at where we can sell it the best. Wait, is our trailer full? Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot to add the extension. Whoops. Anyway. Uh, highest is 1,151, 1,000, hmm. Goldcrest Valley seems to be the best one, which is, of course, the train. So we would get 200 extra, 200, 260 extra dollars per thousand liters. So, yeah, we would actually make a lot more money if we go to the train. So we will, for the first time ever as well, Go to the train. I just don't know which one. Go Crest Valley. Tag the place. And it is... Yep, right over here. So I believe that we go... Okay, so... Hmm. I guess we're going to find out where we actually do this. Uh, I think we go to the place where we read the train. Because then the train is going to be delivered to us. Yeah, I think that is going to be how that works. Nice thing is, it is right down the road from here. If I'm not mistaken, there's going to be a silo where we can offload it to. Maybe. Potentially. Um, or not. I think this is just a place where we read the train. The actual place where we... Yeah, where we load the train up is going to be here. At field next to field 35 here so yep I think that is where I have to go so I think I'm going to add the extension real quick just so I don't have to go twice because <laughs> that is quite a longer trip than what I was thinking it was going to be look at that we're back home that quick that was fast right <laughs> uh, we haven't even begun yet all right so I think if I just park the tractor here Yep, I should be able to do this without taking out the wheat. Yep. Perfect. Very carefully drive up here. I should be in the trigger. Maybe I'm not. Okay, so for some reason I had to unload it before I could load it back up. That's a bit weird. Maybe it's a bug. I do not know. Let's just wait for the trailer to go down. And there we go. And that is all of our oats. Now we're ready to get over to the train. Which is then... Oh, in fact there is the train. There it goes. <laughs> right, I think I know where we need to go. I hope. So all the way down the road here, down to field 70, turn right by field 70. Then continue down and turn right by field 68, and then turn left at field 59. And then go back here to rent the train. I might be doing this completely wrong, but... Well... <laughs> here goes. This is where we usually sell our stuff, but not today. Today we are going to pass it. Yeah, we have we haven't actually driven past this place before. This is the map border up here. So we should turn right by field 68 here. Right here, in fact. Those are some tiny fields on the left. Look at that. I wouldn't mind having them. Could have some grass or something like that. Hmm, not bad. All right, so I believe we turn left here. And then we offload the trailer in this specific place right here. Yes, and then we bring the train here and load it up. Alright, I got it. Oh, I think that's a collectible. Hold up.
Indeed it is. You found a house, so there are nine more houses to be found. Nice. All right. Turn off the engine. Or actually, I should put the tractor in a more convenient place so I don't block for others. Right. Uh, where can I park? Right here will do. So I think if I go to the map, I can teleport over here. Yep, just because it's gonna be easier and faster. Uh, just double check the prices real quick. Yeah, it is actually on a decline, so decline. So I think uh, rent train for one thousand an hour. Am I doing it? There we go. Okay. So it says train is going to arrive soon. I think I pressed R a few times there. <laughs> uh, I hope I don't get a huge fine. Guess we'll find out. But anyway, the train is on its way. I guess I'll find out if I get like $3,000 in train fees. That would not be fun. All right, nine kilometers. There it is. I see it on the minimap. I don't know why it says eight kilometers because it's halfway there. <laughs> but here it comes. There it is. This will be my first time riding the train as well. Nice. Perfect. All right. So we start the train. And then I'm pretty sure we back it up to the silo area. I'm going to make sure I don't pass it. We can go a little faster. 62 kilometers per hour seems reasonable. I say that and bump it to 80. <laughs> it's tempting. Okay, riding the train is fun. Alright. Gotta stop it now. Punch the brakes. We gotta get this very first cart under there. There we go. And I think we then press, first of all, open cover, and then start filling the oats, just like so. There we go. It is filled to 19%, not bad. And we're going to get thrown out of the train in just a moment. We can close the cover again. And we just gotta put the train right through here. Oh, I could have rented the train there as well. Sigh. The train will now drive to and return to the other side of the map. Do you want to trade? Yes. Alright, $23,719. Not bad. At all. Wait, it says only $60 in leasing costs? Hold on, I'm gonna ex move time forward here to 2 p.m. because I want to make sure I don't all of a sudden get a huge fee. Nope, I don't. Huh. Okay. It said read the, read the train for a thousand dollars, but it only took 60? I guess maybe it shows in the morning. Right, well, that is the oats sold. Not gonna lie, really, really good. I want to make sure as well that the letters... Um... Okay, that is in January then. Okay. However, we can get a pretty decent price from it, and it is declining. Ooh. Okay, then. So this is a bit of a gamble. Do I sell it now and get it at a good price? Or do I wait and hope that the chart is correct and the prices is going to increase in January? 
but potentially risking that the prices go down because they are currently on a decline. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Selling it now guarantees at least $2,000 per 1,000 liters of lettuce, which is actually a pretty good deal. Um, but if I wait, I risk getting maybe, let's say, 18000 or 16000 depending on how much the price goes down. Or I risk, well, no, that's not a risk, but I... Well, yeah, I risk the price going even further up to maybe 22,000 or 2,200, sorry. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. I have seen before where it says the price is going to be good in January. And then I, when I come to the next month, the past month I was in was the ideal month to sell it in. So I think I'm going to sell it. Yep, I have decided we are going to sell the lettuce. I think it's just the best thing that we can do. However, first things first, let's pack up this trailer. We can put it next to the water tanker. Hmm. Yeah, the water tanker seems reasonable. don't hit the water tanker. <laughs> Perfect. Pretty happy with that. Now let's attach this thing. Bonk. And let's load up the letters. Yeah, I'm just I'm just afraid that the the letters is going to fall down in price because it is it does say January is best month, but it is starting to decline, and the best price was was uh, one thousand nine hundred ninety two. It's two thousand, so yeah, I think it is just going to uh, make sense. Now I am going to enable super strength for this because using the tractor to load up this many lettuce pallets is not going to be fun to watch nor fun to do. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Wow, I wonder how much lettuce we actually have to... Free to spawn here. Come on, get up there. I'm thinking probably like 8 pallets per greenhouse. Yep. Wait, there we go. 9 pallets per greenhouse, I think. Okay. Not bad. I'm just gonna get everything stacked neatly and properly so i'll be right back when that is done all right first load from the greenhouse has been strapped down let's move on to the next one and let's see how many we get from that one it is big selling day turn off the engine to not waste any fuel uh yeah i think two more pallets actually so not as many from this one. Get up there. Yep, two pallets. Maybe one more? Yeah, one more. One more pallet. Never mind, two more. I forgot each pallet is 500 liters. And final pallet. I'm not sure how many pallets we have on here. Two, four, wait. Two... 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 pallets. Not bad at all. All right. Let's get a place tagged. Fast food restaurant is the best one. Which is... Oh! <laughs> right across the street. Gotta love it. Quite literally across the street. Wow. Wow. Would you look at that? So 8,000 liters of lettuce. That should give us, I think, $10,000-ish. Somewhere around there. I guess we will find out in just a moment. Right... Here. And 
Let's see if I can get this up in a reasonable way. There we go. We are starting to sell. Nice. We can actually remove all those. And there we go. Taking a while to unload, huh? And finally, boom, sixteen thousand seven hundred and seven dollars. That's a lot more than I estimated, but that is really, really good. So we now have eighty six thousand nine hundred and sixty five dollars to our name well to our farm I should say <laughs> nice now what to do because we have a few options now first things first though gotta get this thing parked almost got it you know what good enough now there won't be anything else that we can really do in December so I think I'm gonna put it in the barn. Now it was suggested that I could really use a... What are they called again? A... Yeah, skid steer loader. For... Or something like it anyway. What is it? Front loaders? No. Hold on. Where is the... Forklifts. Or a skid steer loader. Yeah, something like this to really move things around inside the barn. Yeah, that would be really ideal. But yeah, that is it for December. There's nothing else really to do, except for, of course, getting the chickens. Because I do really want the chickens, but we also have a few more options now. Because, as you know, we no longer use Field 44, and... Yeah, we always are looking to expand the farm in any way possible. Now, we can't quite afford Field 41 yet, but we are very, very close. We could even take out a little bit of a loan in order to get this. There's also this one... And yeah, we could really do with expanding field-wise. And I really do want this field. So that is one option, taking out a little bit of a loan in order to, to get that. Or there is waiting till next month. I don't think there is anything. Yeah, this field is empty anyway. So it wouldn't be a good value to buy any of these now. But I think the plan is going to be to save up to get one of these as soon as possible. However, with that said, I want chickens. I really, really want chickens. And... Because I don't think they're going to be... Hmm. It is going to be 6,000 for the pasture, and then I need, well, to buy the chickens themselves. So... Yeah... I did it. <laughs> I bought the pasture. Um, yeah, so how much is it for a chicken? Hmm. Okay, so they are way cheaper than I expected. Um, so I think we need... Okay, so what is this? Chicken, chicken produce eggs, uh, blah, blah, blah. So it is zero months old. So brand new. <laughs> that sounds weird. $50 for an adult chicken that can immediately start laying eggs. This is a chick animals that are healthy and older than six months can reproduce. This animal has reached its breeding age. Animals that are healthy and older than six months can reproduce. Okay. So if I went ahead and got a rooster, just one, and then I got maybe hmm, 10, I could fill it out for a pretty cheap price. Not that expensive, but I think if I do 15, that's then going to be one rooster and 15 chickens. Look at that! Hey, fellas! Hey, guys! Yeah, so they should reproduce and fill out the animal cap eventually. 
Now, of course, they need food, and that means we also now have this tab, which is relevant. So we can look at, yeah, obviously they have no food whatsoever. I don't know how much this thing can actually hold. Uh, actually, now I do need my tractor back. <laughs> I need my tractor again. Quickly back it up. These guys are hungry. All right, so let's fill it up with barley. I don't know how much we need. I think that should be plenty. That's about half of what we have. So if I just back it up to here. I think I can back it up and then unload up. Oh. Right there. I don't know how much it'll take actually. Less than 2000 liters. Okay. Oh, and look at that. Some of them ran over to eat the food. <laughs> Nice. All right. So, yeah, so this thing can hold 750 liters. Nice. Okay. I think that is everything the chickens need. So, I guess that's that. Guys, we have chickens now. And we this barley is going to hold last for quite a while, I think. Because they're not going to consume that much, I don't think. So, yeah, I think we're good. Now, while I also really, really, really do want to have or get sheep, I'm going to wait because we have $80,000 that is going to increase because of the um, so, yeah, uh, hold on. What's it called again? <laughs> Government or sub municipal subsidy, right? Yep. Municipal. Wait. Municipal. Subsidy. Yeah, you get the point. We get a little bit of money every month, so that will increase very soon. And we might take out a ten thousand dollar loan or something like that, maybe twenty thousand, in order to get maybe the big field that is right next to us, because that would be amazing. However, there's no reason to do that until there's a crop in that field, because otherwise, if we get a field without a crop, we might as well wait till there is a crop because then we will be able to harvest that and get some of that money so that would only really make sense so guys i think that is going to do it for this episode really hope you have enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful wonderful day and goodbye